Thousands of Americans have real problems with Notre Dame inviting President Obama to speak at its commencement this weekend. Tonight, on the steps of the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, those people asked Bishop John Darcy to take action. News Channel 15's Chris Hopper joins us now to explain. Well, tonight the American Life League presented the bishop with thousands of petitions signed by people from all over the country. If the petitions work, Notre Dame will no longer be considered a Catholic university. We're here because a Catholic institution has renounced the base, uh, basic Catholic principle that all human beings deserve basic human rights. The American Life League is the largest pro-life Catholic organization in the U.S. It's also the driving force behind the effort to remove the most recognizable Catholic university from the official Catholic directory. We think that you know, with this, Bishop Darcy will, will push even further to, uh, to recognize what's going on at Notre Dame as an attack upon the church. From California to New York, Minnesota to Texas, thousands went online and signed the petition. I think he should look at them and act on them, and I really think that you know, what they're asking him to do is really right. This wouldn't be the first time a Catholic university had the Catholic taken out of its name. Four others have been removed from the list. Most of them for lesser offenses than this, um, for inviting Hil Senator Hillary Clinton or for, for inviting a state legislator. The American Life League says this is the last straw for Notre Dame. Leaders believe Notre Dame has been part of a timeline of dissent dating all the way back to a statement made by the university in 1967. They declared that there could be no authority from the Catholic Church, essentially, that there could be no truth from the Catholic Church, and finally that, um, that there would be no, norm, uh, no normative, more moral or ethical boundaries upon the university. The American Life League does not yet know if Bishop Darcy will take action, but he does have the authority. Now, the bishop will not be at the commencement this weekend, but we'll have complete coverage of the events on the weekend report. Chris Hopper, News Channel 15. After